Welcome to Turks and Jerks this week. Uh, here with the esteemed and legendary J.R. Jackson. Uh, good to be with you. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're good gonna times. start with uh, Turks of the Week for uh, best football players, organizations, coaches of the week. Go. I get a feeling you can figure this out already. Mm -hmm. Brian fucking football. Brian Hoyer. I mean, he's <laughs> on fire. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer. I had. I had no thoughts about Brian Hoyer until you know the Browns messed around and brought in Johnny Football. Yeah. Suddenly, I'm a Brian Hoyer fan. You guys know how I am. Uh, again, they come back against the Titans, and I think, as was mentioned, the biggest comeback on the road in NFL in uh, Browns history: 21 to 37, 292 yards, three touchdowns, one pick, and I flung it up there. Uh, they were down 28 to three before halftime. Yes. Then they scored one touchdown right before the half and started uh -huh. building, of course. Uh -huh. Come back and in the, in, on the road against the Titans. I know the Titans aren't that good, but I mean, they're, they're a professional football team. Brian Hoyer came through. Look, uh, the Titans and the Eagles both drove me crazy uh, yesterday. It's not a big enough lead. Sorry. Like, you can't stop playing the rest of the game. Like, the Eagles almost lost when they had an 88 point lead. To who? <laughs> to the Rams. God, that's so <laughs> pathetic to let the Rams come back. So, part of uh, why I'm taking away a little bit of credit from Brian Football is that the Titans, you know, just let up in a terrible, stupid way. But I hear you. I hear you. That's a great selection, and he's done a fantastic job overall. And I believe okay. every week it's going to be the same way. It's still, from the first time that I picked Hoyer as Turk of the Week, it's still that guy lurking behind you that everyone can't wait to see get on the field. It's still there, and it seems like it just doesn't phase him at all. Okay. It's amazing. Now, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. You went with a guy uh, you already uh, liked. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you've been picking Brian uh, football for a while. I, <laughs> I've been picking against the Giants. I think I made the, them the jerk of the week a couple times or something, or at least once. Um, now I got to go back and say they're the Turk of the week. So the Giants organization, Tom Coughlin in specific. Okay, wow. um, they were. I mean, I, after the first two weeks, I thought they were done, done. I mean, not the fuck after out. two weeks. Yes, because they looked so miserable. They looked like they were uns an un unsustainable team. They looked like Coughlin had run them into the ground. They were defeated. E every pass of Eli Manning was, I don't know, here, <laughs> right? And Victor Cruz uh, catches were like this. I'll take the ball and I'll throw it right into the ground. In other words, non-catches. It was like over and over again. And then all of a sudden, here come the New York football giants out of nowhere. Kicking ass. So what changed? I mean, that's the thing. So that's the wonder. Because by the way, that's if, if that's what's happening this season, the Giants are winning the Super Bowl. Because that's what happens when they win the Super Bowl. No, Those I two know, times right? they won, they they walk in in an eight and eight record or nine and seven or something, and they just come in and decimate through throughout the entire uh, playoffs. Yeah. So if they start early like this, maybe they're just maybe they're starting their turn a little too early. They should, <laughs> they should just start this turn after halfway through and the season. They should suck for a little longer. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know about that. I don't think this team is anywhere near capable of the Super Bowl. But they've surprised us before. Every time they yeah, won recently. But, but look, I'm so surprised that they beat the Falcons <laughs> that I'm like, hey, hey, New York football giants. <laughs>